Amtrak 19 knocks down the signal at Oakwood, Georgia at first light. The plan had been to meet the circus train here, but as usual, we changed our plans. Instead, we opted for Lula, a small town between Gainesville and Cornelia with a restored Southern Railway bay window caboose and this wooden overpass over the railroad. When we arrived, we found a rail train parked in the siding with a Phase 2 SD-70M for power and a classic Southern Railway World War II emergency gondola. I thought for the longest time these had all been retired, but this one's still hanging on to life in the maintenance fleet. Shortly after I shot this, an MOW crew arrived, and the foreman told me that the circus train was being held at Clemson, South Carolina for track work, and that the dispatcher was estimating his arrival in Gainesville at 5. We would have a long wait between now and then. So we focused on other trains passing until then. At 3.45 came NS-153, a pair of C-44s, an SD-70ACE, another C-44, and a UPET-44AC dead in tow. Next came a local out of Gainesville with a pair of Dash 9s running elephant style. Word had reached us at this point that the circus train was on the move again, but the dispatcher had lined two more northbounds through. First came NS-118, making to Linwood manifest traffic. And then came NS-238, Atlanta to Charleston double stacks.
It was getting late in the day and we were quickly losing our sunlight. We could only hope that the train would get here before sunset. Finally, the scanner crackled to life. NS-048, clear, Alto. The time was finally here. At 6.05 p.m., the final Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey circus train to Atlanta passed through Lula just before last light. I could say a lot of things in this moment about how bittersweet this all is. But now, in this moment, trackside in Lula, Georgia, this truly was the greatest show on earth. In downtown Lula, Georgia, at milepost 572.21, this is Ravenhawk 6910, signing off. <laughs>